Good morning. This is Linda K. And as you can see, I have my Mayberry Sheriff hat on. And I'm having another bad hair day. Okay. There. Oh, wait. I get my hat straight now. There. I'm having a heck of a time with my hat. Okay. This is black tube number one and four. Fourteen. This is Friday, April the 19th, 2019. And in the U.S., it is Good Friday. And um, different churches have Good Friday churches in the evening. Um, I want to give a shout out to Jamie J. Ditches and I will link her channel down below. She is a very, very wonderful black tuber. She worked on multiple whips. She is participating in the different, um, ditching group grouped on Facebook so and I just love her I you know it's like I can't wait till I see her next uh black tube vlog because that's how she does things and I just love seeing her whipped and her finishes and she she is a very encouraging sister so if you haven't seen her channel please go watch her because she's a very fantastic Flash tuber, and I will link her channel down below. Um, okay. I want to thank all my 191 subscribers. Yay! I am so happy about this, and I want to thank Jan from Jan Heck Create. For shouting me out. I really appreciate it so very much. Thank you, Jan. Hi, Jan. Um, it really means a lot to have 191 subscribers. And I appreciate all of you. And I want to thank all of you for taking the time to watch my video, to leave comments. Thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. And I am drinking out of a different mug. And I will show you my Easter mug. And I love because it has bunny. Isn't that cute? I love this. I drink all of this from spring all the way through like fall time. And I just love this mug. And originally, um, when I broke my right leg in 2010 in five different places. Yeah, five different places. Um, if you want to know more about that, about that, you can um, and you can leave questions down in the box below. Cause I'll I'll explain how I did it if you want to know. Um, this had a uh, like a flower plant in it, and so after. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. So after the flower died, I thought, you know, this would make a really good coffee mug. And so I worked it really good. And I've had it ever since. And I, I am in love with this mug. It just brightens up my day. And I'm drinking my... Mocha, Mocha Cafe coffee that I, I buy the, you know, the flavored, flavoring of it, and then I just put in my coffee in the mornings. I only drink coffee in the morning, that's it. And once in a while, if I'm really, if I'm cold or something, then I will have tea in the evenings. So... Okay, I got everything that I want to talk about. 
I wrote myself a few notes. Okay, on to my weeps. I got two of them. And they're both heaven and earth designs. Because right now, I'm in the mood to work on both of my whips. So, with that in mind, the first one, and I'm, I'm, hang on a second. And I'm not going to take out the tree snap, but the first one is QS Library Fairy by, by Randall Bangor. I had to stop and think about that. And the way I'm doing this is I work on every night I sit down, watch TV, and I just like either a full 10 by 10 square from start to finish, depending on how much confetti there is, or I will do like half of us finish a square, then start another square square and do half of that one. That made any sense, I hope. So here's what I got done so far on this. So actually I am okay I am like right there where that empty spot is. So when I get this square done, then I will go down and do this square. And I want to do 10 by 10 square at a time from start to finish because this has lots of confetti stitching in it and I do not want to mess this up. Because this is for, for my new library in my town. And I just love this. And, and I am planning to uh, just this again. And when I do, I'm going to do it on 18 count instead of 28 count. So, that is... And then I will show you a picture of it in, in a since I get it out. That's what it's going to look like. <coughs> and there are nine pages to this part, and I'm on page two. So actually, if you take, if you take this picture, I am I will show you. I am on the brown books on the brown book right here. I'm working my way down. So if you follow I kinda how to do this. If you follow this and go all the all the straight down, that's where I'm at. On pattern. So actually, actually, I don't have that much more to do, and actually, it's getting easier to do. It's not as many confetti. The worst part is is her wings, and probably her dress, maybe. But yeah, her wings are, they are confetti heavy. And then my other whip, and it's a heaven and earth design. And it's called Daisy Offerings. And I'm not going to take out the tooth now. When, when I get to the end. When I finish the page up, then I will take it out of the tooth nap and then show the whole thing as it, you know. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so, I am on page nine. 
and I have thrown another column. So with the column that I am working on, I have one and a half more columns to do, and then page nine will be finished. Yay! And then I can go on to page 10. So I will only have page 10 and 11 to do for the, I call it the middle section. And then page did nothing on page 12, if I remember right. And then I've got 13 underneath what's already been stitched. So there she is. I should love that babe. She is so cute and adorable. I just love it. I'm doing, oh, uh, I forgot to mention that on Library Fury, I'm doing it on 28 count, one over one. And I'm doing this one on um, 18 count, Ada, Charles Craft, two over one. So, right now, I am working my way down the column right here. Yeah, right there, where I'm at. So, page 9 will end right here. So, that is page 9, the end of page 9. And then pig 10 starts right here. Right there. That's the beginning of page 10. Right here. So here she is. My progress as of last night. Look at that face. And this is for me. It's going to hang up in my bedroom. And I got such a place for it. And I tried it way back like in. Um, hang on. I will let you know when I started this. And, and I'll show you a picture of it as well. Hang on. This is my oldest, oldest, oldest whip as far as heaven and earth designs. And I had so much trouble with that at the beginning. This is like the third time I started it and I got a piece of thread. Um, here is what it looked like. So I got her face done. Sorry for the glare. I got her face done. So actually, I'm working my way with this wing right here. And and her arm. So it's this one right here that I'm working on. And I'm finishing up her, her hair. So the beginning of her arm and and the rest of her dress. So basically, all I, all I got left to do is from here on over, down and on over. So basically, it's just a section right here. And then, of course, the bottom. <coughs> so, um, <coughs> excuse me. So, this part right here, the blue right here, that's easy. That's easy to, to do. But it's the outer edge 
this part right here is a pain to do because it is all confetti, every other square. It is a pain to do. So I would be kind of glad when I get this done. I'm not looking forward to doing the edge of it. <laughs> so. And I started this on Friday, September the 23rd of 2011. <coughs> and I'm doing it on 18 count Charles Craft White Ada. So this is my old whip. And I will be so right when I get this done. But I do love stitching her doll because I get to see it come alive <coughs> as I'm stitching it. And what I, <coughs> excuse me, while well, I take a drink on my bunny rabbit Easter mug. And this is how I keep all my heaven and earth designs patterns so they do not get messed up. And I have the plastic leaves that I put the you know, the chart and the pattern, the pattern in it. And then I write down on a piece of paper when I started it and when I finished it and for who it is and the fabric. So I got the date started, finished. I'll write that in when I finish her and then the fabric and then who, who, who is for it, which of course is me. So, so yeah, so I got... And that's how I keep my heaven and earth designs. In case somebody is interested in how I do it. And I do each kit. Each, you know, each heaven and earth design chart that I start. I keep my floss for that particular chart. And these. That's the only way I would do it because I can just pull out the bobbin and and uh, keep it on my magnetic board with my scissors and my red ink gel pen that I use to mark where I'm at. So, and you can you can actually get the bobbins. I'll show you. For instance. You can get the plastic bobbins at on Amazon, and you get a thousand. A, a, you get a package of one thousand. Well, more likely a bag. You get a bag of one thousand plastic bobbins for like I don't know, ten, eight, seven dollars, something like that. And what I do is, and I don't have one to show you. Oh yeah, I do too. I use. Hang on. I use the Sharpie permanent fine point marker black to write the numbers on the plastic bobbins. And I'm telling you, this does wonders. I love the black Sharpie permanent fine markers. And and if the ink rubs off on the plastic bobbin, I, all I do is to take this and rewrite the number. And I never ever have any problem using these on the plastic bobbins. So that's my setup for all of my whips that I ever do. And even my small ones, what I haven't done for a while, that I'm not showing them. Oh, I forgot to put this back in. Hang on. So those are the only two that I'm basically working on. I got another one started, but it's just I'm not working on it, so I'm not gonna show it. 
So those are the only two lips that I'm working on. And I think that will do it. I think. And this is and I am very proud of myself because last Wednesday I made a block tube video and today I'm making a block tube video. So it's like one week and two days that I made a, another video. So I'm very proud of myself. Okay. It is cold. It is rainy. It's going to be storming this whole weekend. I want spring. I want 70 degree weather. I got lots of outside work to do. I got to clean out along the edge of my fence, the side, the back, the other side. And I got leaves to get out of my flower beds. And my brother and his wife bought me a little lack bush. And it's lavender. And they planted it for me. And so so I can't wait and it has little teeny teeny buds on it. Oh I can't wait till it blooms. So that as far as I go with my gardening. I'm going to or flower beds and stuff. I am hoping that I can plant flowers somewhere and because I have a huge backyard. I mean it is huge. So um, I, I like to have a flower bed like in the center of my backyard. That would be so awesome. Well, folks, this will wrap up my vlog tube number 14. And I will see you next week. Thank you all so very much. I love you all. And have a happy Easter weekend for those of us that are celebrating Easter weekend. Thank you so much. See you in my next video. Bye.